So it, it will be beneficial across the entire spectrum um, because now people can see what's going on. Sundance Media Group is a consulting and training agency. So we consult with law enforcement, fire, search and rescue, uh, agriculture, anybody that's gonna be using UAVs in their industry, we consult with them and then we also train them how to use those UAVs in their industry. So I come out of law enforcement. So as a law enforcement officer, if I can get that Altel Evo on scene, be able to live feed that across to other officers as a responding or to command posts so they can see what's going on in the situation, it's gonna raise that situational awareness. Uh, that's one of the big things that as a police officer you have to be aware of what's going on around you, what the situation looks like because every situation is different and so you have to know that. And then for my search and rescue side, um, if I have a team that's out looking for a downed aircraft or a missing person, I can then put more eyes on what the aircraft sees. So I can get that out across the internet or across to other devices and be able to show them what's going on. So with the Live Deck 1 being battery powered, makes it really easy. The fact that it's micro USB powered, I can carry a battery pack on me. Uh, or plug it into a computer. Uh, the Altel Evo, I've seen people set it up and get it up and flying within 30 seconds. Uh, so in those situations where you need to get the aircraft up and going, um, and then combining everything, is, it's a snap, it's easy. So my overall goal is just to get the technology in the hands of the people that need to use it. Um, having been to a lot of, of situations to where, hey, if I had a UAV for that, trying to find something, trying to find a piece of evidence in the middle of a field. Uh, trying to find a lost person. Um, had I had a UAV, it would have taken a whole lot less time, so between 30 minutes to an hour instead of six to eight hours. So it's, it's getting that technology into the hands of people that need to use it, teaching them how to use that technology, and then getting their feedback to make the technology better.